Hey, what's up guys? It's Elastic Spider, and in today's video, I'm featuring a series called Import. In this series, I will pick a ship, go over all the consumables, upgrades, and captain perks for uh, a certain ship, and I'll try to do that within five minutes. If you would like to see a certain ship, leave a comment down in the comment section below, and I'll try and get that done as soon as possible. So, in last week's video, we did the Montana. If you want to see that video, there's a card in the top right hand corner. You can go check that out, as well as the rest of the import ships that I've done. For this uh, video, we are doing the tier 10 USS for the gearing. So, let's get right into this. In terms of consumables, all premium. Uh, one notable thing that I like to use is defensive fire. I think the gearing especially you should use defensive fire because not only can you support your uh, friendlies, like friendly battleships that don't have defensive fire, but you can also uh, defend yourself from carriers. Upgrades. Uh, main armaments want, want to keep your torpedoes up and as well as your guns. Here, there's a argument for AA guns, certainly possible you can get your AA guns out to 7.2, um, but I actually choose not to. I, I do like the accuracy, but it's this one's really personal preference. This one, however, I do believe that you should go torpedoes, get your torpedoes down to a mere 104 second reload, which is not bad at all. It's a little over a minute and a half. Uh, you can do a lot more spamming and area denial with those as well as just... Uh, getting torps off on clumsy battleships. If you're going for a full AA build, then AA mod would also work. I just found that it wasn't uh, wasn't popular enough, especially with the lack of carriers. Propulsion, again, you can pick steering gears, but one of the two. And then I again go with propulsion. The rudder shift is already amazing. You can see 3.3. Getting it down by an extra uh, uh, 0.6 seconds, down to 2. Like 2.7, 2.7, 2.8. It's not really worth it for me. Uh, so I go with propulsion. And if you are sitting in smoke or you need to get going quicker, that is a good way to do it, especially without uh, speed boost. Then finally, consumer, that should be a no brainer. Captain perks. So tier one, definitely recommend preventative maintenance. Keep your guns up a little bit better, as well as your torpedo tubes. Then last stamps, again, no brainer. Uh, it's a destroyer. Then go with health. Health is important because you want to stay alive and you'll be getting into a lot of brawls with other destroyers. So uh, definitely pick survivability expert and then finally concealment expert. Then once you've got that basic build, then I would go uh, torpedo armament expertise. Get your reload down on all those torpedoes by, that, uh, by another 10% uh, to that 104 seconds. And then torpedo acceleration i've been trying this out and i've really really been liking this you get 71 knot torpedoes 13.2 kilometers with it which is perfect range you could say outside of radar and they've got a 1.4 kilometer de detection by sea which is absolutely insane so this setup is quite ridiculous and i think you should definitely definitely run uh, run torpedo, uh, torpedo acceleration. Then it's really your choice. I pick superintendent just because I play a lot with division uh, while I'm in a division, so I like the extra smoke. But you can certainly pick basic fire and training, better AA, better reload, as well as if you are going for a more offensive, uh, offensive build, demo expert could work also. But I, I would probably stick to one of these two. And then uh, the last one is a point dump. I just picked priority target. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you like this video, please consider subscribing and liking the video, as well as sharing it wherever you see fit. I'll see you guys in the next one, and take it easy.